I have a story. I have um, uh, I have I have a story. I have the, th the first three chapters in my head, basically. Um, but I mean, it's it, as I said, it's it's a big thing to sit down and write a book. Uh, I've got the mu my music career at the same time. Basically, I'm going to have to put away my music career to actually write another book and at the moment that's impossible uh, but but when it becomes possible and when I have I guess the courage to sit down and and say goodbye to my personal life and to to whatever else uh, then I'll start to write it but I will have to approach this book in a different way than the last one so talking about that unfortunately everyone gets older um, do you think you could sort of end up giving up music right. Um, well, there is that option, I suppose. I mean, I, I don't know, I, f I, I still feel that, that musically I've, I've got as much to say as anybody else and, I, and uh, that I perform what I do as well as, a, as anybody else. Um, so I'm, 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 I'm quite happy uh, continuing with music, but when I, but but, but I'm very conscious at the same time that that may not continue for that many more years and, and I hope that I'm, I, I'm going to be able to, to see that and to, and to stop and call it a day and, and do something that, that my age permits or, or whatever, you know. So at least the good thing for us is we can still expect Nick Cave and Bad Seed albums to be released. Next well, I can, you know, I'm definitely con will continue to make records until I feel that they're that that they're no longer any good. You Changing know. the subject a bit. Um, yesterday at the, the press conference, you sort of made this accusation towards MTV and the way it approaches music. Uh, the first thing I want to ask is, what is music for you? As in, and I mean, for for me, music is is uh, one is is I think in of all the art forms really to me the, the most powerful um, because it just go, goes straight into your blood you hear it and it goes straight into your blood and it has it does have the capacity to be able to change your life one song three three verses you can hear and suddenly your entire view of life is different that's happened many times through through my life and, uh, and I think that's incredible, really, uh, that someone can sit down, write, write a, write a three-verse song, and it, and it has the capacity to change one's life. And, uh, and so I feel very happy and privileged to be a musician and, and to be able, perhaps, to be able to do that, you know. So why do you think MTV is actually, do you think MTV is, is destroying that? Uh, I don't want to make, too, too big a thing about this MTV thing, you know. I mean, uh, what pisses me off about the whole thing really is that that uh, and, and is is that 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 huge compromises are having to be made now with music because of the record companies. It's it's uh, it's no longer just a situation where a band gets together, they write their songs, they put out a record, they put their picture on the front of the record. You listen to the songs, you imagine what they're singing about, you imagine what they felt about. It's no longer the situation. It's in, it's in the hands of video makers. And, and without, with the exception of about two video makers, I detest a lot of them. And I think that that, I think that, that, that whole idea of, of, of some fucking video maker sitting down and, and listening to a song and, and putting his concept of what that song is about on the television and and then that is watched by millions of millions of people is to me disgusting and they are disgusting it, it maybe be all right if the videos were good or, or that but but they're not they're, they're, they're not even performance videos you don't even see the band performing the song anymore you just see some some video makers you know kind of a collection of irrelevant images on a, on a screen you know and it's and it's and I think that, that is systematically destroying music I suppose imagination as well and yeah, yeah. what control have you got on, on the videos you make 
Well, why, why I'm a little bit upset about it these days is because I've been through this situation. We, we had a video uh, straight to you. And I've always said that I just want to make performance videos. All of our videos are basically, you just see the band perform the video and that's, perform the song and, and that's it. Um, and there was a lot of friction about what the straight, that the, the, they didn't want, and that the, the, the people from the record company didn't want us to do just a straight stand there and play, play the song. They wanted some clever video maker to go and turn it, you know, and, and make it a hit. And uh, there was a lot of friction over that. Uh, in the end, it is us just standing there and it's uh, playing the song. So obviously you don't choose the director, the person that's going to... No, we do choose the director. But, um, I mean, who do you choose? There's, there's very... I mean, there's Tim Pope, for example, who I think is, is a brilliant video director. All, all, of, all of Tim Pope's uh, videos that I've seen uh, actually make me like the group and, they, and they, they, um, they, they've even made me like The Cure, for example. I, mean, I never liked The Cure, I never listened, listened to their records and liked The Cure. But Tim Pope has a, has a certain way of, of uh, pulling the personality of the artist out and putting it on the screen, very, simple, very simply. And, and there's very few people like him, you know. As a parent, You're a parent. I'm a parent. Um, uh, uh, well, I don't know. I don't, I don't, uh, um. Responsible. Well, I do. I, I feel I do have a you know a different role now in life. I used to be. I, I used to. Uh, I mean, it's 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 changed my life because I'm no longer able just to rove around the world or whatever, and um, and I have to make certain decisions as to where I want to where I want to bring this child up, basically, and. Uh, and in this world, it's a it's a difficult decision to make. You know. Um, you know, I mean, a, a fear would be that my child would be brought up as an American, for example. That would be a, a fear. But I, I'm I'm making a definite effort f for that not to happen. But I do want to bring him up in an English-speaking country. So I don't know. He's going to have to end up being Australian or English or. It's also kind of a little frightening too. How are you going to react? I mean, this is, I don't know if you don't want to answer it. Don't. How are you going to react if he grows up? Is it a he or she? It's a he. It's a he. If he grows up and he doesn't like the music, he drop it down. I, don't, I, I wouldn't really expect him to. I don't want him, you know, I want him to grow up as a banker or something like that. He had to look after me in my old age. <laughs> you don't want to end up in an old age. Obviously. I don't know. Okay. And you just go on now. That other one. When was the first time you went to the cinema and what did you see? When was the first time? You went to the cinema and what did you see? Uh, I went with my sister to see uh, Born Free. Absolutely, yeah. Um, the pressure is taken off. It's uh, you have a shared responsibility. Um, when you make a record, it's you, you're putting yourself on the line. Basically, it's it's your record. You know, uh, it's about you. People like it or they hate it, and and, and there there is that incredible pressure there. To work with a director like Vim Vendors, who, who, who I like and respect, um, the, the responsibility is shared and, 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 and there's a freedom to, to actually, there's a, there's a different sort of freedom to making music for films than there is to doing just your own records because of that, because you're working for a greater purpose in a way.